when we are led by the spirit when we choose when we prioritize our life when we live according to what father god wants uh, how father god wants us to live immediately we start conforming to a greater purpose that he has already set in place now what do you mean by he has already set in place god it's not that god is you know it's like up in there turning knobs up and down you know controlling people he's not doing that he has given man free will free reign free choice to decide how you want to live the when we conform our will to his we come into the perfection of life because if he was in control then why is the world in chaos god is not the god of chaos right think about it man is in charge man is the governor man is the rightful authority of everything that happens in this world so the sons of god who come into conf- confirmation with what the holy spirit wants to do what father god wants to do brings about transformation and life into the spirit into this physical reality from our spiritual habitation which is heaven the kingdom of light that is why god re- took us out from under the king influence of the kingdom of darkness and he has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son the kingdom of light that's where he wants us to live that's where he wants us to live from right do not be under any obligation to do anything now i'm not now we need to understand okay freedom is a process so don't say that oh, i'm going to you know quit my job now because you know it's like i don't feel like going to work anymore they can't tell me what to do <laughs> that's not that's not what god that's not what god had in mind that's not how god freedom is a process that we need to grow into right we need to understand freedom it has to come from a perspective and a revelation of how the holy spirit leads us so when the when when we get into a relationship with what the holy spirit is saying and what father god wants to do for us we start experiencing a relationship that transforms us and translates us into a life of freedom it's a process because if we start jumping into freedom right now and saying you know it's like i'm not going to do anything right now that's our mind that's our brain that's you responding to what i am saying that's not responding to the holy spirit leading in you i am only telling you what's available i am only telling you what's there but the holy spirit revelation and the whole, how the holy spirit makes it happen in your life is how you acknowledge the holy spirit cooperate with him and make these realities possible that's how we are supposed to live right I, earlier in my life i used to hear all these you know amazing teachings and preachings and you know it's like i was like that's it i'm not going to do anything from now on this is the way i'm going to live there was nothing but chaos and turmoil in my life the minute i made those kind of decisions and why was that because i put my faith i put my understanding into something that someone said right it wasn't something that the holy spirit was doing and it wasn't something that the holy spirit told me to do sons are led by the spirit of god so don't be going doing things based on what i am saying i am only telling you what's available you need to be going by what the holy spirit is leading you in your heart to do and i guarantee you because it is in the scripture the holy spirit only leads us in freedom and through the process of freedom so the holy spirit will lead you if you know that you are supposed to be free if you know that you are supposed to be living a life in eternity in the habitations of heaven in the heart of the father then you will experience you will start experiencing that life of freedom that is in the heart of the father that is in the spirit where the spirit of the lord is there is freedom it cannot happen any other way but we have to be led by the spirit of god that's the only way we will experience what the holy spirit does in our life he does it through us he will not just go ahead and do things outside and apart from our will he will never force freedom on you he will never force freedom on me or anyone else he does not force salvation on anyone right he does not force salvation on those who are uninformed he puts it into their heart he gives them faith to believe it and when he gives them faith to believe it even then they have the choice whether they want it or not so even while a person hears the gospel of salvation even though he hears the gospel of freedom which is basically which is true really the gospel it's a gospel of freedom when a person hears the uh, the gospel of salvation he has the choice even though he has been given faith from that gospel he still has the choice whether he wants it whether he should receive it or not it's all up to him and when he does receive it when he does choose that okay fine you know i want it and i'm going to allow the holy spirit to do it in my life i'm going to allow god to work this out in my life immediately he has opened his soul as a portal as a gateway to let god manifest because the moment he says this is what is going to happen in my life 
the Holy Spirit gets a chance to materialize his life around him according to the pattern of heaven. That's what God wants. He wants our acknowledgement. He wants our cooperation to allow him to love us. He wants our cooperation to allow him to let heaven work on our behalf. Our angels are waiting around for an opportunity to do something that will set us free and will bring awesome abundance in our life. They're waiting for it. And what's actually blocking is the mindset that says that, oh no, this is the only way things are done. It cannot happen any other way. Why? Because our mind has told us something that the world has kind of like given us information saying that this is the way it is to be done. So we kind of block things. That is not how God wants it. He wants us to be completely free. And there's only one way. See, if we are coming to the kingdom, just believe and know that you and I are in the kingdom of God. We are sons of God. And nothing can happen outside of what God wants to happen in our life. Right? 